Hello, introducing the Light Engine Digital Interface, or LETI for short, a next generation electroluminescent light wire controller. I am Dr. Glowwire, and I designed this new device for everybody to use. This is the system of light wire driver battery. This is a close up of the Light Engine Digital Interface close up showing all the wires connected into it. This is the output wires of a sample that I built uh, as a test. And this is the test in action. Note that it's two different patterns running at the same time. This pattern was inspired by Roby the robot, the, the color light that he had. Now I'll show you how to install it. Open up the CD with the files and open up another window with my program, the program files. And then copy the processing one to one folder from the CD to your program files folder. This quick method is an easy way to get the files where they need to go. Then after it is finished downloading, you know, click continue if it shows up. And if it, when it finishes downloading, then you can close the Windows for C program files. The folder processing 121 is an open source program. It is copied to the program files folder so that Windows will know where to find it when it's needed to be used for the next few steps. And now copy the CDM and the sequencer folders to your desktop. Wait for it to finish downloading. We put the icon folders onto the desktop because it's easier to find them later. And it should look just like this. The next step, you can now close the CD window. And now on my computer, click on Manage. Then click on Device Manager. and then click on ports. We are opening the device manager to get the port assignment for the LETI. We will not be making any changes to the device manager. The port information will be used in the next step. Open it up by clicking on the down arrow and in this case it's, it's discovered as COM5. We'll need this information for the next step to configure the interface, the program sketch pad. Now open up sequencer folder, double click on sequencer PDE, and on the second line you'll see the configuration. So we need to change it from COM7 to COM5. And now click on file and save. And then we can close the processor window. That completes the configure installation and configuration of the application to run the sequencer. This is a demonstration to show how to create and download a pattern to the LETI. Start by opening the sequencer folder and then click on the sequencer PDE file. This opens up processing one to one and verify that the COM port is configured correctly. Now click on Run. This will bring up the pattern sketch pad. A through H are the chan light wire channels. 1 through 16 are the sequencer steps. You can select or deselect the square by clicking on it. And we recommend that you set the speed control to the midpoint between fast and slow. Now I'm going to put in a simple pattern for four channels. And I'm going to click on start. And the purple bar is showing the steps as the sequencer pattern that works. And you can see that the controller has taken over the uh, output of the light wire. Now it's all blank. I'm going to click 
the last step that I created, number seven, and now the uh, pattern will run from one to seven. I'm going to click on faster to speed up the pattern. And then I'll click on download to download the pattern to the Letty. Now I'm going to exit out of this and I'm going to start Sequencer PD again and I'm going to create a new pattern using all eight channels. And step seven is my last step. I'm going to click on that and then click on start. And I'll click on faster to increase the speed. And then I'll go ahead and download that. The letter can only hold one pattern at a time. So this is why you would have to go back and change the pattern if you need to. Thank you. I have shown how to install and create a pattern to the Letty and also download it to the Letty. For those of you who want to go further, we have some hidden features that you can hack. First, you can use an external switch such as a lead switch and magnets mounted on a bicycle wheel to control the timing of the sequence. You can also extend beyond 16 steps by altering the script used by programming one to one. And three, you can now also gain two or more LEDs together to create 16 to 24 or more channels and gang them together with a single step switch. I hope you enjoy the LEDI. Uh, we're looking forward to find out what adventures you guys come up with and what questions you have when you get it. Thank you very much.